Mr. Sinai, who is also the chairman of the Electoral Boundaries Commission, in a media conference today in Podmosby, named the new electorates that are expected to go to the polls this year. He also took the time to thank the Marpe Basil government and the majority of the members of the 10th parliament for accepting the commission's recommendations. The upcoming 2022 national elections will see this New electorates go for elections. Uh, recent history or histor historical event in our country where the parliament has approved the split of electorates after 42 years since 1977 when we had the first boundaries redistribution. Mr. Sinai says the electoral roll will not be affected with the introduction of the new seats. The organic law allows for a redistribution of boundaries before every election, every 10 years. And so that boundaries commission is not a new thing. We have att attempted many, many times. And so with this announcement, it's a process that is complete now. And the process is now being completed by the parliament, which is the legitimate authority. And uh, they have adopted the report. And it is an election process election process, so um, the announcement, whether it be done today or in the future or in the past, would still have to be implemented without um, any hiccups. Probably. Mr. Sinai also stressed that money will not be an issue. Be careful about not encroaching boundaries. So we already have polling schedules, polling teams, LLGs and districts aligned. The only difference is we are creating a new name. We are creating a new name. For instance, Kairuku and Iriquari. Kairi just came in. Kairuguiri is already there. And mm -hmm. under Kairuguiri, we had a budget. And we had allergies. We have council wards. So um, to separate them is just moving two locations and setting a line, separating them by way of polling schedule and polling arrangements. Esther Bralinwani, NBC National News, but must be.